Writing programs. I always write computer programs. I'm always trying to write something neat. It has been quite a journey. Long enough to observe all the changes ten times over. I use JavaScript today. But boy, did it used to be slow. Back then, I wrote in PHP and Perl. Both very nice languages. I am too busy with JavaScript to miss them today. There is so much to learn here. There is this new strange joke that a full stack developer can't exist. People who do everything are either unicorns or crazy. There do exist serious technology limitations that can make full stack developer sound ridiculous, but they do exist. They are smart enough, though, to never tell their employer. And writing user interface, server command, and design principles all at once would make a programmer pretty much a slowpoke. Personally, I enjoy the whole round trip from user interface to server and back, but only with JavaScript, as other languages are just not mature enough. In my Java days, dynamic user interface was hard, and it may still be frowned upon. The lovely user interface technology called Java Swing needed to grow up. PHP and Perl could create a graphic user interface, but it would be a bad idea to build something serious. Those languages were meant for something different. Flash, that old web games were coded in, did make a leap forward once. Before it all fizzled out, their action script language was really, really nice. Their UI framework, called Flex, was a decade ahead in prettiness and usefulness. Flash and Flex were pretty amazing, but the underlying Flash player had bugs. One very large company wouldn't allow it on their phone, in part because it drained battery, but also maybe because it was written in somebody else's language. As to the bugs, Flash was probably written in a low-level programming language that did not automatically check memory for buffer overflows. To be fast. That usually means humans manage memory and humans are really bad at controlling buffer overflows. The worst case scenario here is that people will inject program instructions and may even get access to the underlying operating system. Low-level languages are fast for lack of bounds checking, but they are also hard dangerous, and really slow to code in. Modern JavaScript takes care of everything. You just say hello, and it will take care of it for you. In C, you have to make an array or a list, and then put letters in it. You also have to specify how big the array is, and you can't go over that number. If you do, then you may damage memory belonging to some other thing and then quite possibly allow for arbitrary code execution. Scary thing. Full stack developers avoid slow things like that though, and this gives them superpowers. In closing, I will present a very, very tiny use case. Just a moment ago, I generated code files on my disk using Babel, which allowed me to use syntax 
that is not yet part of JavaScript. I triggered this generation on the server under the control of a sweet event emitter by means of Engine.io. I actually don't really see a difference between talking to a program component or a server. It's all taken care of for me. Very uniformly too. It's all event emitters. I don't have to manage web sockets or anything. They are really, really helpful and very pretty. That is just the server magic. My user interface allows for complex automatic layouts. My programs and website work on large screens and tiny ones, and I use Bootstrap. It sure took some getting used to. But more than that, I use Svelte, so my program automatically reacts to me making assignments to variables. I don't have to remember to call user interface update, nor do I have to pollute my code with it. But even more than that, I can build my own code editor in a single afternoon, which is something I should absolutely do. I don't know why I haven't done it yet. And I can inject a code editing area anywhere on the web. Visual Basic, C, Perl, PHP, ActionScript, Java, just don't do this kind of thing. They each do one thing, but not everything all at once like I can do here in a single afternoon with JavaScript. Now, a lot of these technologies that I mentioned here are very trivial. And it is almost a strange thing to hear someone mention Bootstrap as some kind of a special technology. But you know, it is. It's special when it's part of everything else that creates a whole that is both sustainable and stable. And Bootstrap isn't small anymore, but it might have been at some point. And that smallness was always elegant. The developers made sure never to try to do anything that was outside of the scope of programming a CSS framework. So it may sound silly that I mention some of these technologies, but they are really amazing. And you know, I used Gulp and Vinyl for my virtual file system. My server code is less than 10 lines and I have access to all the Gulp plugins. My code is automatically formatted for free. It is not any one thing that makes this kind of programming so mighty. It is all the things combined together in simple harmony.